neco friendly, simple, but all on toad made with upcycled coffee beans served from Brazil. This bag is the perfect size for carrying your stuff. Use it for groceries, toys, books, or as an adorable airplane carry on. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or also as a crossbody bag. Material list One burlap coffee bean sack, one yard of cotton fabric, 30 inch of beauty wearing strap, one magnetic snap, one zipper of 8 inch length, cotton thread, fine point disappearing ink, pen or water soluble marking pencil, measurement tape, scissor or rotary cutter, cutter mat, and sewing machine. Step number one, patterning fabric lining pocket and strap. To begin our project, we need to measure our fabric to the correct size. We will need to cut one rectangle of burlap of 30 inch head by 20 inch width for bag's main body. Once you're done with this step, uh, your rectangle is going to look like this that I am showing here. And you're going to do the same for your bag lining. Then, cut a rectangle of cotton fabric of 20 inch head by, by 10 inch width for the zippered wall pocket as I'm showing you here. And after that, you're going to need your jute webbing strap of 30 inch length, which I already cut and then I'm going to sew the edges in the sewing machine. Sewing strap. I sew uh, my strap with a um, zigzag stitch, or you can use it as serger uh, to secure the edges and avoid um, uh, fragging edges. Fragging edges, uh, just to be secure that uh, there is not some um, fragging edges. Just pull your your um, edges like this, and if um, uh, if you have some dangling thread, just cut it, and then uh, I. I um, sewing for with with a zigzag stitch uh, for um, a first time, but I'm going to do a second time just to secure it and avoid any fraying thread. So I'm going to show you. How to make the zigzag and the edges. Step third, hemming the body and lining. Next up, we will hem the bag's main body and create a hem of half inch in the shorter length of our fabric on both sides by folding a half inch of burlap inside the wrong side. Then sew. I already saw this edge and now I'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew the, this hem edge. Next up, fold your rectangle of fabric in the right side inside and sew about half inch with a serger or zigzag stitch to secure and avoid, avoid fraying burlap edges. Follow the same procedure for our lining. What this look like when you are done with your uh, hem and your uh, zigzag stitches at the edge. And then I'm showing you how to sew in, in the sewing machine. and your um, bag's uh, main body is going to look in the same way. So I'm going to show you how I did the, this part of here. So here is our bag's main body and this is the enter at the top and here you have your corners. So 
at the bottom. So take your burlap fabric like this, your bottom like this, and fold in a triangle. And when you have this triangle, just try to match uh, the this part right here, the center, with the center of your bag. And make sure uh, from this corner, two and a half inch. And when when you already have the measurement, just go to your sewing machine and sew right there, and you're going to have a triangle. And this triangle, you're going to same, you're going to follow the same crochet in the other in the other um, corner. So. Step four, sewing pocket. Make a he hem on both sides of the rectangles of fabric, which is 20 inches height by 10 inches width. And <clears throat> now uh, I pin my zipper. After you have done your hems, like this, pin your zipper in this way and go to your sewing machine. Next up, sew edges in the right side of your fabric and be sure to sew very close to the edge with zigzag stitch or with serger, like I did here. Turn inside of the wrong side of the fabric. When you are done turning inside your pocket, sew from the edge half inch on both sides and you will be done with your inside pocket. When your pocket is done, it's ready to be attached to your um, lining in the right side and just pin it at the top and then go to your sewing machine. Step 5. Attaching magnetic snap. Insert the magnetic snap at top opening of the bag in the center of the lining. Next, place two fabric patches over. Next, fold the metal tabs with the needle nose plier. Then put some liquid stitch around the edges. And lastly, sew the edges. And that's it. Step 6. Attaching a strap, sewing back body, lining and pocket. Sew the strap at the bag's main body, then insert the lining and sew a top opening of the bag, leaving a centimeter below the bag edge. Once the lining is placed and sewn to the bag's main body. Draw with uh, disappearing ink pen or water soluble marking pens pencil uh, the rectangle and then an X. And this is the area that you're going to sew. So now let's go to our sewing machine and here is what this looks like this is the inside of our bag and this is the outside and there is the X and the rectangle 